So this week I've been working on the bumpers. I've been trying to figure out the position of the bumpers, how we attach them to the robot, and just basically trying to follow the guidelines so we don't break any guidelines and get kicked out of competition and we don't hurt anyone. Like for example, the um, quarter inch and eight inch rule, where you could break one and, and you have to obey the other one. That's been a little complicated, trying to decide which one we break, which one we obey, and everything. Me and Matthew continued working on drive code with our vision, so autonomous work, and we managed to get cube following and road navigation to work pretty well, uh, together and separate. So that's what we've been working on, and we're fine tuning that now to get it even more precise and to work on a hopefully 100% Great thing. That's not gonna happen. Oh. So here's a video of it. Switch. So we finished the first base and got it wired up, and now we're testing to make sure to see if the wheels and everything can run properly. And we finished one sub-assembly and mounted it on the robot, and we're close to finishing a second sub-assembly. Outside of that, we've been testing all of the sub-assemblies we've been making, both on the robot and not quite put onto the robot yet. And we've also been working hard manufacturing so we can finish a second robot by next Wednesday. With controls, we've been doing a lot of wiring. Um, with the base, we have components on the base. We have wires, extensions, all that, can chain extensions. Um, we had a lot of fun with locking pins for the can chain, and we had to like find new ones and switch them out, all that. It was pretty crazy, but um, we got through it, and we were able to get some assemblies that we have for the robot on, test those out, um, and yeah, we've done a lot of planning for wiring up the robot, so it's a good work in progress. With safety! Um, the safety captains and I, we've been drafting up a safety manual for the team. Um, it's based off of what the safety manual is for first, but um, it kind of outlines behavior for the team and what is expected of members of Team 4296. Along with that, we've been working on a lot of competition, goody safety stuff. Um, so hopefully you're able to catch and come check out what we have. Yeah, we've been having fun. In the beginning of this week, a majority of the mechanical sub-team was working on finishing the assembly of the first robot. We had the base done in a couple of the sub-assemblies, so we had to finish the last sub-assembly and then get that mounted onto the robot. Once we were able to get all the sub-assemblies mounted, we passed it over to controls, and so they started wiring it up and testing some of the code that they've been working on so that we can most likely go to competition this Sunday. You know, I've been working on making a lot of the parts for the second robot, like spotting holes and doing cutouts for weight loss on the robot so that we can have the second one ready to assemble so that we can have that ready for bag day. Um, yeah. So, Chairman's has been working really hard these past few weeks to make sure everything's ready for when we go to competition. We've been working on getting materials for the pits, we've been making sure that our um, uh, essays are edited and turned in, which they're all done. Hopefully they turn out well for competition. And now we're just working on getting videos out, like this one that you're seeing on the YouTube channel and also our Chairman's video and our reveal video. Keep an eye out for that soon. Um, uh, but beyond that, you yeah, know, Chairman's has been working really hard. Everything's in, everything's nice and tidy. Hopefully things turn out well in the next coming weeks and we do really well at competition. Week 6 is always really busy for both mechanical and controls. That's because we're all rushing to get a robot done and this year again two robots so it's just been kind of hectic. Mechanical's been doing a great job. They've been coming in extra time when we either have the day off for robotics or just extending the hours so they can get everything done. And so they've been making a lot of spare parts and finishing up all the tooling that we need to do for our second robot because our first robot is already built for the most part. 
and right now it's being wired and tested by controls and they spent an entire day this past week wiring it all up. In my opinion, since I've been on controls for the two years previous to this year, this is our hardest robot to wire. So our controls team has been working pretty non-stop to get everything all wired up and ready. And today's the day where hopefully we are going to finish up the competition robot chassis and it's going to go to controls and since they've been already doing all this wiring, they should hopefully be done very quickly because they know what they're doing. Oh, and today's an exciting day because we picked our drive team, so it was exciting for them to know about that and we're starting to get together and talk about some different things because tomorrow is our week zero competition. We're going up to Wisconsin to one of our mentors old high schools to get that awesome practice for the upcoming competition season. Week six is also really exciting because everything sort of comes to life so all the things that Chairman's has been working on and I've been helping people design on Illustrator are coming and they've arrived and they're ordered and everything worked out so these are our new wristbands we're going to be giving out in the pit. We also got a revamp of our lanyards because we always get lanyards for pins in the pit. Um, oh, we also got a button maker, so we're going to be making buttons of our own soon. And we have a really cool design that's first power up themed retro little tools, so that'll be fun. And also, everyone's ordering their team t shirts, which are really fun. So we've got some season ones that have different power up 80s retro Pac Man. We've got some Mario, Super Mario stuff up there, so it's fun to play with the game and use the cool theme in our merchandise. We also got some plain t-shirts for people who don't drop their tie-dye 24-7. Like I do, obviously. Go team! <laughs> okay. right. I'm done. Left to the camera. Okay. That's literally so loud. Banana flutes. Captain's Vlog Week 6. This week for dinner and lunch we had a ice cream bar and I made a beautiful <laughs> banana sploot. You know, if we all go to Worlds, this is why. There's always time for ice cream. Right. So here we are, the presentation. Look at that. Thank you. I have to eat my chili first. But... Look at that. Sure is moving in circles. <laughs> I didn't mean you, Stephanie. No, don't get sick. We have a robot to make. Hi. Oh, I can't even see myself anymore. Good. Th this looks good. I hope it's good. Yes. Wave to the people. What am I doing? Why am I still doing? This? I'll zoom in. <laughs> Say hi to Kevin's vlog week six. Hello. Bye.